you can see two circuit boards of the mini split air conditioner are placed in front of us. This is the indoor board, and this is the outdoor board. This circuit board is showing AP4 error code. I have tested its IPM and the rest of the components. I also have the indoor circuit board to remove the P4 error code from this outdoor circuit board. The problem I am now facing is when I attach this blower motor to the indoor circuit board. The blower motor is not working. I have tried all the combinations of the feedback wires, but no combination of the motor worked. I have three blower motors, which I checked on this circuit board. The other second type of motor is this. This motor's feedback wires differ from those I installed earlier. We can change the rotation wires to make the blower motor rotate in the correct direction. The feedback wire of the blower motor is important. When I tried these blower motors, the circuit board showed the motor error but not the P4 error code. I will show you what error of the blower motor it is displaying. Before that, let me explain this circuit board to you. This circuit board consists of two parts. This is the main circuit board. The smaller circuit board is the main board's power or SMPS. Actually, it is an SMPS circuit for the main board. The live and neutral wires are attached here. The other side of the wires is the output wires from this SMPS circuit board. The input wires in the SMPS are 220 volts. The output is the 12 volts DC. Such circuit boards that operate the AC blower motors have capacitors inside them. But this circuit board has no capacitor for the blower motor. As I told you, I have tested the connections of the blower motor. And on the circuit board, these pins of the blower motor connector are for the electricity. I have set the blower motor connector according to the circuit board's connector. The third pin of the connector is for the capacitor. I have installed the motor's connector in the circuit board's connector. I will now install this capacitor with it. The capacitor is 0.8 microfarad. This blower motor seems to have a 1.5 microfarad capacitor, but I don't have it, so I'm going to put in a 0.8 microfarad capacitor. This capacitor will also help me to test the circuit and the blower motor. The capacitor is attached to the red and white wires of the blower motor. I have installed the capacitor wires directly inside the connector so that the motor can be powered. I tested the feedback combination of the blower motor. Now, let me explain to you how the feedback connector of the blower motor works and what points are attached to it. This pin is the number 1 and the ground pin of this connector. I will check the 2 and 3 number pins of this connector as we move further in the video. And I will check how much voltages are passing through these pins. I will now check what error it shows for the blower motor. I have to remove the P4 error from this circuit board. But the circuit board has been stuck on the blower motor error. I have installed the feedback wires properly on the circuit board. I will pass electricity through the circuit board. The display of the circuit board shows a 17 degree temperature. The blower motor shaft has started to rotate. Now, it will keep working for quite a while, and will start to show an error on the display. A few inches later. It is showing an E3 error code on the display. The E3 error means that the circuit board is working fine, but the feedback of the blower motor is not working. It is jammed, damaged, or something is wrong with the motor. Also, it is possible that the wiring connection of the feedback for the blower motor is not fine. But we know what could be the problem. As I don't have the original blower motor of this mini split air conditioner circuit board, I will now test the voltages on the feedback connector of the circuit board. And why are my blower motors incompatible with this circuit board? I will pass electricity through the circuit board. Now, I will check the voltages of the feedback connector. The number one pin is the ground, so I will place the multimeter's black probe on it. I am checking the voltages on pin numbers 1 and 2 first. No voltages are passing through these pins. This means that pin number 2 is the feedback pin. 12 volts are passing through the 3 number pin of the blower motor connector. This circuit board feedback connector has a 12 volt VCC supply. But the motor that I have worked on 5 volt VCC supply. Let's see what difference we found as we proceed further to check this circuit board. If the hall sensors inside the blower motor are different, then the blower motor will still not work with this circuit board. I told the owner to bring its original blower motor, and he has brought it to me. This blower motor is quite bigger than the one I was testing in the circuit board. But as we go through the electrical connection, that department has no such difference. As I told you, a capacitor is installed inside the circuit board for the blower motor. That capacitor is installed externally with the blower motor. I think the blower motor is bigger. That is why the company chose to install the capacitor out of the circuit board. The capacitor is of 3 microfarads and 450 volts. The two wires from the motor are red and black, and the other two are installed with the capacitor. It is not such a big difference, 
The only difference is in the connections because when the capacitor is installed inside the circuit, the connector the blower motor has three wires. I will now check the feedback connections of this blower motor. And it also doesn't have such a difference. V out is written here. Then VCC. And the last is the ground. But a capacitor is installed between the VCC and the ground pins, which means capacitance is given to the feedback connections of this motor. I will check on the circuit board to see why this capacitance is given to the feedback connections. Now, to understand this, I have taken another mini split air conditioner circuit board of a different brand. The blower motor installed in this circuit board is also AC. This connector is the feedback connector of the blower motor. Let me show it to you by zooming the camera on it. VCC is written on this pin. Next, FB is written, and ground at the last. I will now check the feedback voltages on this circuit board without the blower motor. And what voltages will we get with the blower motor installed to it? I will pass electricity through the circuit board. The blower motor has started to operate. I haven't installed the feedback connector. So, let's check what voltages we get on the feedback connector. So you can see that 5 volts are passing through the ground and the VCC pins. Now, let's check the voltages on the feedback pin in the center. The voltages on the feedback pins are also 5 volts. This means we should get the same voltages on both these pins of the PG connector when the blower motor feedback wire is not installed in the circuit board. I have now installed the feedback connector in the circuit board. I will turn the circuit board on. I have set the blower motor at the maximum speed. So, let's check how many voltages are passing through the circuit board now. I will put the multimeter probes on the VCC and the ground pin. 5 volts pass through these pins. I will now check the voltages on the FB pin. The multimeter is showing 2.6 DC volts. The feedback signals are passed to the microcontroller. Through these signals, the microcontroller checks the blower motor's speed and rotation. Now, I have installed another motor in its original circuit board, and I will check how much voltage we get from the feedback. The motor has started to work. I will place the probes on the ground and the VCC pins. 12 volts pass through these pins. Now, I will check how many voltages we get on the feedback pins. Almost 4.6 volts are passing through these pins. This is the maximum speed of the blower motor. I have changed the speed of the motor. And let's see how many voltages we get now on the multimeter. The voltages we are getting are the same, but sometimes they are also up to 5 volts. This means the output from this motor is quite high, but the output of the other motor was low. Now, I will open this motor from the back and see what is installed in its circuit board. I will zoom the camera to see this circuit from near. A capacitor and some resistors are installed. A hall sensor is also installed. Now, let's see the circuit diagram of this motor. The number of hall sensors installed in this motor is 651, and it is a bipolar hall sensor. It will pass analog signals. The motherboard changes these signals to give feedback to the microcontroller. 10 kilo ohms resistors are installed here. A capacitor is installed with it. A 100 ohms resistor. Another 1.2 kilo ohms resistor is installed. This is the schematic of this blower motor. Now you can see I have opened the bigger blower motor. Its circuit is the same as the previous motor. Dip components are used in this circuit board. Now, let me show you what the schematic diagram of this blower motor looks like. The wiring connection of this blower motor looks like this. Lines are made on this wire. The wire in the center has no mark. The third wire has some number written on it. This is for identifying the wires. The biggest difference from the previous blower motor is that a 449 number hall sensors are installed in this blower motor, which is a unipolar sensor. It is used for digital signals. The rest of the circuit is the same as the previous motor. 1.2 kilo ohms resistor is installed here. A 100 nanofarad capacitor is installed here. The rest of the circuit is the same. Due to the difference between the unipolar and the bipolar hall sensor, the other blower motor was not working with the circuit board. I will explain how to operate these motors on different circuit boards. If you are able to exchange these circuits with one another, or if you have the same number of hall sensors, you can change the hall sensor and make the blower motor compatible with one another. I hope you have understood all this what I have explained to you. I am tired now, you can buy me a coffee by visiting Patreon. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch the next videos. And subscribe. Thank you.